Hello, this is Matthias, and I'm on uh, Waterson with one of my Smurfs. I've recently gotten to know one of the Reaver pilots here. His name is R Guitar, playing in the outfit Prey. Now, some people have pointed out that it would be much more effective to fly closer to a site, for example, in uh, one of my latest uploads, where I cover the balance between the Mosquito and the site. Now, R Guitar has exactly this fly style. He is extremely aggressive, and flying against him can be very, very hard. And this time, he just absolutely destroyed me by just rushing me. So we did have a number of uh, 1v1s against each other, and I'm going to show you two of them here. It seems that we are fairly even, so it's going to be interesting to continue these uh, 1v1s, and we're probably going to do that on the test server. Now at this uh, more mid-range type engagement, I feel that I have a bit of an edge, and uh, he wants to close the gap. But this is a very risky maneuver. It works sometimes, but sometimes it doesn't. So the thing is, I've actually had my Waterstone character for quite a while. I was invited to uh, the outfit uh, LUXE or LUX. The leader of this outfit is Merc. And uh, I've been participating in their operations, uh, following them around. And uh, mostly I fly, uh, obviously. But I've also been on the ground and uh, gunning a few vehicles. And uh, I have to say, I have uh, felt very welcome in this outfit. They have done some uh, crazy good operations, the leadership is good, and I have nothing but positive experiences from joining their platoons. Spotted a hostile medic! Spotted a hostile engineer. <laughs> what? What you say? Seriously, what? What you? What you talk about, man? Because we kept driving forward and you couldn't get in. We were messing with Meg. So as you can tell, uh, the communication is very relaxed, very chill, and I kind of dig that. And even though uh, we always communicate in English when I'm on TeamSpeak with my friends on Cobalt, it's uh, quite, uh, it feels quite unusual to hear people who can actually speak English when they speak English. Otherwise it would be like, yes, we have a thunderer behind the rock on the, behind the crown over on the left side. Or maybe something like, are you kidding me? There is a sniper in the bushes and he hits me one shot dead. Uh, it's a funny thing with uh, uh, the accents we have in TeamSpeak. Uh, we have uh, people from basically every country in Europe and even outside of Europe. And of course Swedish also. But that's the thing about uh, Swedish is that Swedish people don't have an accent because we learn English in school in very from very young age. Therefore we speak fluent uh, English and uh, well people can normally not tell that we are uh, actually uh, foreigners if we go to like England or America. Yeah, anyway. So you guys remember the old night vision? It was pretty good, wasn't it? I really do miss it, I have to say. So in my upcoming videos, I'm going to focus a lot on uh, the tests that we are doing on the test server. We are trying to figure out how the um, rotary and hailstorm changes have uh, changed up the balance between the three ESFs in air-to-air -air combat. So far, I have mostly been doing this with Becky, and um, hopefully there will be some more pilots who will join in. And uh, one of them are, of course, our guitar that I have asked to join in. He uh, did download the test server, I believe. And um, he recently did upload a video where he is flying around in his reaver. And I do recommend you to watch that. The link to that video will be in the description below. And um, maybe he will continue uploading videos. I've also recently started using Maxes more than I did initially in, the, initially in this game. And uh, Maxes are not really any of my favorite units. Uh, I don't find them very fun. But uh, the thing about Maxes, the way they respond to the mechanics, m makes them more forgiving for low frame rate. And it allows me to record uh, while I'm playing. This is something I cannot do when my frames drop uh, below like uh, 50 or 45. I just don't enjoy it. So for my infantry gameplay, I am waiting for the uh, announced uh, optimization from SOE. And the thing about Maxis is that I think they are far too powerful for a unit that uh, requires uh, not that much experience before you can do well with it. And I know that every balance discussion between weapons and vehicles and some such are very emotionally loaded. And the Max is uh, a very popular unit, I understand that. 
it's uh, a unit that uh, you can get quite easily and quite quickly get familiar with and uh, I understand its popularity. So now with flying that also a lot of people find to be very fun once you get the hang of it. It is also something that takes a lot of time to learn and a lot of people are struggling with it. That is also understandable. Few things that I would like to see changed for the air gameplay. I know I've mentioned it before but um, it is to have uh, a bigger part of the meta game into air combat, like some bases that we could actually fight over. And uh, also, I would like to see the ammo capacity to be higher for the um, at least the, the air-to-air -air guns. Uh, the one that I'm using here is the M18 rotary of the Mosquito. But uh, the same goes for the um, Reaver, the Vortex, and the Hailstorm of the site. I think the ammo capacity is too low, and I also th think that the uh, re um, not the reload, but the uh, resupply time is a bit too long. Now I normally actually spawn an ammo sunderer and uh, in a nearby base to uh, where we are fighting, and uh, resupplying an ammo sunderer is actually twice as fast as at a landing pad. And uh, that in itself is actually just just that is a motivation for me to uh, spawn it. Now for the more inexperienced pilots who might be watching this, uh, the thing that you see me doing here, shooting uh, infantry players into a bio lab and uh, just basically hovering and uh, sniping off infantry players in, uh, I do that uh, quite a bit in this video. This is something that is very, very risky. And uh, keep in mind that there are many weapons in this game that will kill you faster than you can react like tanks and decimators, deltons and some such. So hovering like this is something I do not recommend unless you actually know what you're doing. You need to know the surrounding, you need to know uh, what enemies are nearby, and uh, yeah, you need to know that uh, it's worth taking this risk, because this is very risky. And way back when I started making uh, flying tutorials and flying videos, people asked me uh, why I used the uh, hover stability airframe and if it was because I'd like to hover, and I said no, you should never ever hover. I use the hover stability airframe for the vertical thrust mainly, and also I find the air brakes to be very useful. Uh, having good air brakes uh, will allow you to get into reverse much faster, and there are a couple of other reasons for it. But I don't use the hover stability airframe in order to be able to hover. So I'd like to thank you all for watching, uh, there is more coming so please stay tuned for more content and uh, yeah that's gonna have to be all, bye for now.
light assault in the area. 